Hi, everybody. Along with Dave Raymond, I'm Bill Dolman. So happy to have you with us for this matchup between the Bearcats and the Red Raiders. And, you know, Dave, Sam Houston State isn't a team that's just happy to be here, but it's a team that should be very happy with the way it played in its first game against TCU. Well, no. On the season, Atwood is at 318, making his 11th start of the year. 14 hits and 44 plate appearances. A ball and two strikes, and there's a line of the short, and there's one away. Brian O'Hearn swings at the first pitch, and that's a fly ball. High, kind of deep, left field, back to the wall, and that ball is gone. Liner back up the middle, just past the foot of the pitcher. Smothered in shallow center by the second baseman, Pierce, but it's a base Beautiful hit. Beautiful day for baseball at Minute Maid Park in the Houston College Classic. Sam Houston State and Texas Tech with Dave Raymond. I'm Bill Dolman. Six to three is our score. Sam Houston State has the lead, and it's been an interesting game to say the least at this point. And Hi, really folks. I'm Bill Dolman along with one of the greatest Colorado Rockies ever, <laughs> Eric Young. What are you doing here? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Collecting a check. <laughs> <laughs> and Bill Brown, the voice of the Astros, is joining us as well. Hi, everybody. I'm Bill Dolman. Welcome to Sportsnet Central. The college football season kicks off later today, so in a few short hours, actual games with real scores will take over the headlines. Hi, I'm Bill Dolman. Alongside the Hall of Famer Calvin Murphy, the Rockets are where no one at the beginning of the season thought they would be. And that's in the playoffs. And we are here for the next hour to get you ready for game one of their Western Conference Series. The newsroom today, <laughs> nobody had any work. It was quiet in there. It, yeah. Because <laughs> everybody went to Twitter. <laughs> Wait till you see what Murphy wearing tonight. Alongside the Hall of Famer and somebody's groomsman today, Calvin Murphy. <laughs> alongside the Hall of Famer and very subtly dressed, Calvin Murphy. Houston is the number eight seed, thus Oklahoma City is heavily favored to win the game and the series 10 points for entertainment purposes only now being in the underdog role is nothing new to James Harden he compares this year's Rockets team to the Thunder team he was on in 2010 that Rockets was open training camp on Saturday we sat down with Kevin McHale his highlight of the offseason getting Dwight Howard but how will McHale use him and Omer Ashik at the same time plus Dwayne Brown back at practice but in a limited role find out which other pro bowl is now sideline. Hi, everybody. I'm Bill Dolman. Thanks for joining us for Sportsnet Central. Will Dwayne Brown be joining the Texans on Sunday against Seattle? That's the big question at this point in the week around here. And our top story is a merciless hit on Joe Flacco that has left Whitney Merciless a little lighter in the wallet. Now, the man to Brown's right, left guard Wade Smith, he did not practice Wednesday, but said his scoped knee is fine. It just needed rest. As for fellow pro bowler Andre Johnson, he did sit out because of injury. That bruised shin is still very sore. Coach said Johnson is also a game time decision. All of this is definitely not news that Matt Schaub wants to hear. But as our James Palmer reports, the Texans QB has to be better no matter who's playing on Sunday. It was here that in December of 1971 that a young assistant coach named Lavelle Edwards was called to the president's office and told that he was going to be the new head coach of the school's lifeless football program. No fanfare, no press conference, really no big deal. Now the football stadium sits a few blocks to the north of the president's office and it was there that Lavelle Edwards crafted one of the great coaching careers of any sport, anywhere, at any time and it all happened right here at BYU. I'm Bill Dolman and this is Legends. And because there's always news plus other notes and nuggets of information to tell you about from the Mountain West, we keep you updated every hour, every weeknight with updates straight from the news desk, and we call it Around the Mountain in 90 seconds. And Marius, here's a uh, note from the Mountain News Desk. Over the last two years, we have aired more than 13,000 hours of exclusive Mountain West content. October 15th, 1999 was an important date in the history of the Mountain West Conference, which is interesting because the Mountain West didn't officially open its doors until two and a half months later. But what made that date so important is that that's when Craig Thompson was hired as the commissioner. He's gone from being the Mountain West loan employee to arguably the most talked about conference commissioner in the country. He's guided the Mountain West from its infancy to the threshold of the BCS in football. He's made bold moves, for example, in television. He's testified before Congress. But what's most important is that he's challenged member institutions every day in every game of every sport to put the Mountain West above the rest. So there's always a lot to talk about when you have a conversation with Craig Thompson. So why TCU? Why stay after so many years of moving from one job to another job every year, two or three years, and so many stops in your first 15 years or so? 
you've landed uh, at TCU and you've stayed at TCU. What is it about that place that keeps you grounded? Because we all know your name comes up just about every year for jobs that people perceive to be bigger. Well, I think one of the, one of the things that happens with moving is you understand all the, the problems that go along with moving. And um, Kelly? 375 of college football's top officials are here. Now, officials have been getting together for years, so this is really nothing new, but this is the first time that a group of this size representing so many different conferences has been assembled. Now, the goal is to get everybody headed in the uh, right direction, and when it comes to the rule book, getting everybody on the same page.